Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I want to show you a trick. This is the iPad mini, the first gen. This iPad mini came in 2012, so we're talking about eight years old. If you go to see the uh, iOS version, we are running 9.3.5. So this is a very old version. The problem with this is that when you go to the Apple store and you want to download an app, Netflix, this is Netflix, and then you click uh, here. Look what it says, unable to purchase. Netflix is not compatible with this iPad. Okay, that's a bummer. So if you want to download, let's say YouTube also, this is the YouTube application. When you click here to download it, same message, unable to purchase. YouTube watch, listen, stream is not compatible with this iPad. So you said, all right, so I cannot download the app, so maybe I can use the software on the browser, right? The problem is you can use YouTube. YouTube is going to work fine. Netflix, guys, even if you sign in, you're not going to be able to watch any movie here because it's constantly going to ask you to open the app. So it doesn't allow you to stream from Safari. You need to download the app. As you saw, I cannot download the app. So what can I do? In order for this trick to work, you need to have another device with a higher iOS. In this case, I have the iPhone SE. 13.2.3. Actually, this is not the latest version, but this iPhone is capable of upgrading to the latest iOS. So this is a great example. What I need to do here, guys, whatever app I want to use on this iPad mini, I need to download it here first. In order for this to work, you need to sign in with the same Apple ID on both devices. So the trick, guys, is you need to see here on the bottom, click on purchase. Okay, and you're going to see the same purchases since it's the same account, guys. You're going to see the same purchases that you can see here. You're going to see here. Since I'm using iCloud and the basis of iCloud is we try to update any content on any device because of that policy, Apple is forced to give me the latest compatible version of the apps. So that's why we can download it here and we can use it. In this case, let's see Netflix. I'm going to click here. Do you want to download the last compatible version? This version of Netflix is not compatible with your device. Apple is giving me the chance to download the last compatible version. Download. And I'm going to do the same with YouTube once it's finished. I have to tell you that this trick works if the app is compatible with the iPhone and an iPad. There are some apps created specifically for the iPad where you cannot do this trick unless you have a, another iPad, you know? I don't know if that's confusing or not, but that's what it is. Netflix. And that's it, guys. This is how you have Netflix on your old iPad. Let's download YouTube also, just to make a point. And again, you know, they ask you, you want to download the last compatible version? Yes. And then right there, guys. Now we can open the YouTube app on our iPad mini first gen. And this is the YouTube app on the iPad mini. And again, we have the Netflix and YouTube. And as I show you at the beginning, you cannot download them if you don't have an account linked to another device with a higher iOS. This is going to work on some apps, not all the apps. Again, you know, I know I'm going to have questions saying, hey, this doesn't work on this specific app. It doesn't work for all the apps. But if you have an iPad mini, now that you have to hunker down, as they say, the iPad mini is a good device for media consuming. So it's a good opportunity to have YouTube and Netflix on an iPad. You can give it to your kids so they can watch everything. But of course, all the latest applications, they're not going to be compatible with this unless you do the trick with a higher iOS device. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you that. Please let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because more content are coming soon, guys. Right now, because of the coronavirus, there's not a lot of advertisements on YouTube. So I'm losing half of my income and I really need it so I can continue uploading videos. So I need your support, guys. If you can subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.